So before we actually go into the video, I just mentioned it at the end of it, but I'm going a bit doolally and I forgot. That information, there's something down there in the description bar. You should click it and you should sign up because there's a reveal video coming. Might be Friday, probably is. I know it is, so you wanna click it. Okay, let's get on with the video. Hey everyone, okay, so I thought we should do a really good, almost holy grail kind of product. Some of these actually are. So let's just jump right in, shall we? It's gonna be a shorter one today. Got a headache. Okay, so let's begin with this one. Now, this is, and a lot of people have reviewed it, it's called Unseen Sunscreen, and it is by Supergoop. Now, this is basically, this is a makeup primer with, in the UK, an SPF 30, I believe in the States it's 40, and it goes on exactly like a makeup primer. It is completely transparent. And the moment you spread it on your face, you will understand because it has that really thick silicone feel to the skin. Now, for those of you that don't enjoy silicones, this is not the foundation, not the foundation, it's certainly not that, but it's not the sunscreen for you because this is very silicone based. But for those of you who don't have a problem with it and like the smoothing effects that silicone gives, then this could be one for you. There is no white cast. It literally looks like nothing on the skin. I'm gonna show you on the back of my hand if the camera will pick up to it. That actually looks disgusting. But it goes on really, really smooth. It feels incredible on the skin. Now this is a chemical sunscreen and I'm very sensitive to those and I didn't get any single reaction whatsoever. It is becoming holy grail status for somebody like me with very oily skin. Now, if you're gonna use this as your sole source of sunscreen, this is gonna last you 40 days in total as there is 50 mils of product in here. And with 1.25 mils required for your entire face, you've got 40 days worth of use. But it's entirely up to you how you use it. But if you are gonna use it for sunscreen, then please bear in mind it's 1.25 mils for your whole face. Okay, so there's two, there's three here from the same company. I'm gonna show you that. So this contains almost 10 mils of product and it is Hourglass brand new eye primer. And this is, well, this is an eye primer. It has a slight beige undertone to it, as you can see there on my little finger. But very, 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 in fact, the texture of this is so similar to Supergoop. So expect, it to be quite, you know, you, you know exactly what I mean by that when I say that it's got this really kind of thick texture, but everything adheres to it and the colors look magnificent when applied over it. And you get nearly 10 mils, yeah, it's high end, but I love it. Another one from Hourglass. This is so bloody bright in here. I need to do the auto ISO. Um, this is Veil by Hourglass and it is their soft focus setting spray. Now every single other company needs to take note of the applicator because this comes out the best of all, not near my camera, this comes out the best of all setting sprays I have ever used. It is the finest mist and it does give a very, very soft focus effect. Amazing for getting rid of powder texture on the skin and of course adding luminosity. Apparently one of these is sold every three seconds in Korea. It is AHC Essential Real Eye Cream for Face. Now, I've just been using it as an eye cream underneath my little tired eyes and it has worked out incredibly well. And I can see what all the fuss is about. This is a really, really good face and eye cream and it goes on really smooth. Now you can slab this all over your face if you want. I choose not to at the moment because I'm already using a different moisturizer and I keep my skincare very, very simple. But once I finish with that, it'll go all over. So I like to switch things up. Now that's the only problem with it. Got quite a whiff. Anyway, other than that, it works incredibly, incredibly well. This, I have on now, and I love it. It's like 20 years ago I bought this. This is Laura Geller, and this is Balance in Brighton. Now, I would be fair. That's me, I'm fair. And I think it is an incredible product. It is a it starts off as a cream, it ends up as a powder, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. It hurts me when I don't see it being sold in shops the way that it used to be, because this is a truly wonderful, wonderful foundation. And I'm gonna end on this one because this is, 
the absolute strobe light palette by Hourglass with um, lots of different colors in. <laughs> I can't read, I can't read, I'm so sorry. But these are the strobing powders and these, oh, oh, I don't mind if I do. Let's see if I can swatch them in there. I'm gonna sort this camera out, this lighting, you know. But, oh, they are everything. And then, and I say it every time I review Hourglass products, I honestly believe Hourglass don't make shite. They make great, great products. And, oh, sweet applicator of heaven. Probably one of the best eye primers available currently. And of course, but, this is now holy grail status for me. Holy grail. Oh, it feels amazing going on. Okay, so all the information in the description bar is down there. And just so you are aware, there's a link in the description bar, which is for the secret thing that I've got coming up. And it's probably, you're gonna get the full video on Friday. Friday, this Friday, the whole reveal. So excited. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon, bye-bye.